What is up guys, it's Matt from School Busters and today we're talking about Battlefield 5 and it's good things. We all agreed on these good things within our playtime, which we was on the last, pretty much the last day, last full day. And uh, we all got a bit of, I had a tiny bit of action, Neil had a bit more than me and Andre got all of it because it was on his PC. So yeah, because only Andre has a PC and we all have consoles. Um, pretty much the good things that we're going to talk about, what we all agreed on, the graphics, the flowness, the planes, the guns, and general things. So number one, graphics. Yes, this the graphics has been massively upgraded. Uh, I don't know if they bring a new engine or some kind, but dice, as usual, make mint graphics. The uh, aurora lights, the just the background, it's all nice and textured and it looks mint. And we can't wait for the more maps to get released. Right, so we've got coming up to the planes. The planes! There's a load of good things, there's a load of bad things. I've already talked about the bad things, so you're going to go check that out. And that was about the uh, icon, the reloading icon. Uh, yeah, so if you want to go check that out, go check that out. Um, the flowness of the plane. So when you like fly it, it feels more like a plane. You know, in Battlefield the one way it flies, it just t like twitches. It, and it uh, like the last patch came out, and it made it all smoother. It's just what it is. It's just, the planes are much smoother, and it looks min like the Spitfire and the I don't know what the, any of the German bombers are called or what German planes are called. But yeah, everything looks smoother, looks better. The planes, oh my god! I want, I want, I want, I didn't, I only got like a limited time in the plane, like not even five minutes, because um, I got shut down. So yeah, the flowness, like when you fly it, like we was on a mouse, and I'm not used to the mouse, and I was just like gliding. It was just gliding through the air. It feels great. It feels like Battlefield. Yeah, the end patch of Battlefield 1 that came in, I don't know, was that April, May? I think May. Yeah, so yeah, the flowness of the plane feels great. The guns, we only got a light limit access. Uh, we mainly played Sniper and Medic. Medic gun was mint. I really enjoyed it. Didn't play much as a, I don't, I don't think it even touched the STG. No, I didn't. I didn't touch the STG. I didn't touch the Bren. Um, but apparently, the, they're supposed to be good at close range. But us noobs, we can't play close range on a PC because, um, yeah, we was all new to it. However, this sniper, oh, it's it's good, but it's bad. They they need to upgrade that. I don't know if it's the headshot. I think that yeah, I think they need to upgrade the headshot a bit. We got a lot shitload of headshots. But it just needs a tad bit upgrading, like from to Battlefield One standards. I know they toned it down, but I think they need to tone it back up to where it was in Battlefield One, only because to make it more balanced. Because all the others, like the way the guns, are, you, you run out of ammo easier, so it'd be more balanced if it be a bit more powerful. Uh, that's just my opinion. The medic gun seems mint, like rapid fire. Um, however, I think with ammo, it just needs a tiny bit more ammo. You do lose your ammo after about holding off like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, 8 minutes, 5, five minutes. Uh, could do with a bit more ammo. That's just my opinion. I don't know what I forgot about them too. Uh, yeah, just, just need a tad bit more ammo. Uh, the resupply and I like. Uh, the health packs where you don't have regen. I think that's more effective for snipers as well when you shoot someone they don't regen. I think that's spot on. Um, that's about it. Talking about t Andre said the tanks are good. The uh, the good at moving like the mo the movement of the tanks are brilliant and the destru destruction of the uh, houses is also better than the BF1. So that's about it, and uh, yeah, that's our good points about Battlefield 5 and the closed alpha. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you all soon, and uh, adios.